Hi, my name is Alex. Hi, Dia. Today, I'm going to show you two modifications I made to the crazy car. Namely, switching the original battery by drill battery. And second, replacing the finger throttle by foot pedal throttle. So, Ed and Ian, are you ready? Yeah! Let's go! I have a Razor Ground Force go-kart with a dead battery. Instead of buying a new lead acid battery, I decided to use a lithium ion drill battery. The drill battery weighs much less than the lead acid one. Although its current or amperage is lower than the lead acid battery, I want to see how well it performs. The battery replacement should work for both Razor Ground Force and Ground Force Fury models. I'd like to show you how you can replace the battery by off the shelf drill battery. The advantage is that it reduces significant amount of weight. So the original battery weighs around, wow, that's a five, five kilogram. And the weight of a drill battery plus adapter is 0.5 kilogram. So that's huge difference, right? This is a pair of dead battery. Each one is of 12 volt. So combining serial, it generates 24 volts. I want to emphasize that while the drill battery is lighter than the lead acid battery, depending on what battery you have, it may provide less current, resulting in less power and therefore lower speed. You'll see the comparison at the end of this video. The drill battery I have is a 24 volt, 6.5 amperage hour battery, compared to a pair of 12 volt, 7 amperage lead acid battery connected in series providing a total of 24 volt and 7 amperage hour, which means they have more capacity than the drill battery. And therefore, in comparison, the lead acid battery will run faster than my drill battery. And this is the 24 volt drill battery that I found on Amazon. Uh, there is a brand, I think, uh, Cobalt, and this is the OEM equivalent of that brand. You have the option to solder to make your own adapter basically just uh, the two pins right like those two and then connect the wire but it just so happened that i found on amazon there's a store that's selling this adapter which has the advantage that it include a 30 amp fuse which is the same fuse that risical car has right if you look at this guy this is also a 30 amp fuse and also it comes with a switch this switch can prevent the battery from draining the thing is that if it is just keep connecting uh to the rest of the system it is as if there's a load so the battery will slowly drain out so this switch serves a good purpose to disconnect the load and therefore preserve power of the battery by the way i'm not affiliated with uh, this store in any way. It just so happened that uh, I see this. I'm, I'm providing an option. Originally, the battery connects to this cable, just like that, right? So now, just need to replace the battery by the drill battery. And the key here is, this is a drill battery adapter, and. Once it connect to the adapter, by the way, you can press the power to see now it's a full battery, right? Uh, I just need to connect these guys to these cables and should be good to go. So let's try that. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut off this connector and connect by this kind of connector, which has levers and then you just pop them out right and then insert the cable into it and then be done with it so let's do that Okay, now everything is connected. This is the battery, which connect to the fuse, the switch, and then connect directly 
to the controller, and then to the power switch, and then to the motor. Now, this is a moment of truth. Let's test it. First, turn on the switch, right? And I press it, making sure it's full battery. Now, let's turn it on. Okay, uh, LED lights on. That's a great sign, right? So, let's see if it will run. Sweet! It runs. This is super great, right? So the first modification is done. Now I just need to figure a way to attach, fix the battery in place. Now we just need to do the second modification with the foot pedal throttle. There are two reasons I want to replace the finger throttle with a foot pedal throttle. First, a foot pedal throttle is more similar to how you would drive a car. It allows you to keep your hands focused on one task, steering while your foot handles acceleration. This separation of tasks can make driving safer and more intuitive. Second, there was one time where my son got his finger jammed between the finger throttle and the frame, and he couldn't get it out. The go-kart kept accelerating, and he couldn't stop it, which was a frightening experience. I believe this is a strong enough reason to switch to a foot pedal throttle. So this is the foot pedal throttle. It has three cables. Now let's see where the three cables goes to. According to the schematic, this is the cable that connects to the throttle and then connect to the controller. Let's turn off the power and disconnect it. So if you look at there are six pins, but let's try to color match it. So the detail here is that you just have to color match these three color. I think correspond to pin one, two, three, red, black, and green. Another important detail is that you have to short uh, pin four and six, that is yellow and orange uh, with a paper clip. Otherwise it won't work. I also used hot glue to connect the three wires in place which makes it easier to plug into the connector. Right? And it runs. That's great. Like and subscribe! Bye! 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 Bye!